and welcome back. We are back with some stuff. Stuff, not fluff, right? More crypto mining stuff. So today, let's talk about how I run uh, AMD cards alongside my NVIDIA cards on a single rig. I have one rig I built, the wood frame rig for 14 bucks. Because if it ain't making me money, I'm not going to waste money on a $200 rig to hold my GPUs. So I built a wooden frame. All right, enough about that. Keep it simple, right? Um, so in this one rig, I have a, just a paltry five GPUs. I know. I'm not a big time player in the GPU crypto mining world, but I'm getting there. Once I start making some money, but the crypto crash doesn't help much. So I'm just going to hold my coins for a bit. But anyway, I got five. GPUs on this one rig, one motherboard, one power supply, ATX, ATX power supply. Pretty cool. Now you're saying, well, how do you run an AMD 6600 XT, three of them with NVIDIA uh, 3060 Ti's? And the 3060 Ti's are a different brand. The 6600 XT's are all different brand. I think... Um, One's a uh, Ace, I don't know what they are. One's a um, Red Devil, one's a uh, Hellhound, and I forget the other one. I think it's just a no, no nothing 6600 XT that works pretty good. So how do you do this? Well, as you can see in the, in the display, I got the top window here. I got my three 6600 XTs. And on the bottom window, I have my two 3060 Ti's. And you can see the hash rates and they're running, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, dealing with the LHR, the software is. You can see my temperatures, my power consumption. And I love these 6600s because look at the low power. Of course, number three there, you know who he is. He's the Red Devil. He's that Red Devil with all those fancy LEDs. Again, I just want stuff, not fluff. I don't care about the fancy LEDs on these cards. I just want them to mine and give me give me 32 hash, right? There is another card I got, 6600XT on a different rig, just a motherboard, one card. Nothing to it, no metal backplate, just a bare bones GPU, 6600XT. 6, it's getting better hash rate. It gets almost 32.9. And that's what you want, man. Stuff not fluff. None of this fancy bells and whistle crap. I don't, you know, I don't need it. All right, I just want low power consumption, efficient cards, and great hash rates. Yeah, all right, so let's get into it. So in this window up here, I basically broke it out into running two, of, two different miners. And why did you do that? Well, I like T-Rex Miner. T-Rex Miner is in the bottom window. T-Rex Miner will run the NVIDIA cards. They do not deal with the AMD cards. But I like T-Rex, so I wanted to use T-Rex. So what, what you do, I'll say it in a summary and then I'll show you, is in T-Rex, you specify which devices you want this miner to run. The devices being what you see in your device manager on Windows. And that is this puppy. Device manager. Go up here to display adapters. Blammo! And there you see all my cards. I know, I need one more, I know. I'll get one eventually. But right now, I'm saving my money. So I got my three AMD 6600 XTs, devices accordingly. Each, um, note that this order is really not the same as the order that the software sees them. So I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, here's the cards. What you need to do when you install these cards is you need the drivers, right? NVIDIA, you got to go to GeForce, download the driver, and you can uh, see what I got here for the 3060 Ti. I'll go to Properties, Lamo, and we'll go into Driver. And there you go, blah, 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 913, 2021. I don't know, that's just the driver I have. Good enough, let's rock. There might be a better driver, but that's what's working fine. And for AMD 6600 Properties, driver and you can see what i got here pretty pretty recent 1018 and that's the driver those had to be installed as well i've had no issues 
I've heard some people mention when you're installing the AMD drivers, you might have issues conflicting with other stuff. Uh, maybe the NVIDIA stuff conflicts as well. This is a clean system installed from Windows Fresh, and I just put on exactly what I need to get the system up and running. You know, the, the settings, the performances, the VM size, the virtual memory size, and uh, MSI Afterburner, etc. So I've had no problems installing the drivers. All right, so there you go. There's the drivers. You get it. So there's five cards. Let's just minimize that. So what you'll see is one, three, four. Those are the IDs, but uh, T-Rex does not show. T-Rex shows zero and one. So my point I said earlier is that T-Rex Miner sees the devices in the device manager on the machine differently than this software, which is NB Miner. So I'm running NB Miner 39.7. This is T-Rex Miner 0.24.8. Okay, you say, well, how do you know? How do you know, oh wise one, which devices to pick? Okay, whatever. It's uh, it's all in the readmes, and I know I'm an I'm an engineer. I don't read the manuals. I'm I'm guilty of that. I'll read them after I suffer for a while. Then I'll go, okay, I better read the manuals and come up to speed on this stuff. But um, I'll show you what I do here. First off, I have MSI Afterburner. Why? Um, NB Miner does not, I couldn't figure out how you would set the overclock settings inside the NB Miner scripts, so I use MSI Afterburner, and then if you look on my GPUs, you'll see it sees the 6600 XTs, but it also sees the, uh, what are these, 3060 Ti's NVIDIA cards. There. I don't really care about those. I just want to put the, put the, um, overclock settings on the like, see the three dots, bump, 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 those three cards, and I want to use these overclocks, and it'll affect those cards right there. That's what, you, that's what I do for that. That's why I have MSI Afterburner. All right. Makes sense. Let's go on. Um, T-Rex Miner, I put the overclock settings in the actual batch file, command file, and I'll show you that as well. All right. So on the left here, what I do is I always put shortcuts on my desktop. So we have the MB minor. Let's go look at that. MB minor. And I'm running Ethereum on both of them. So you can run. We'll break it down. High level. You, I'm running MB minor Ethereum on these uh, 6600 XTs. I could run a different coin, say Raven coin, whatever, and then still run ETH on the other cards. You can pick and put. Pick and choose like a buffet what you want to do with these cards and the miners. You just got to have the wallets and the stratum set up and you're good to go. So in this case, I have ETH. If, I'm a, if I can look at it in Notepad. And um, all right. So what I do in the badge file, this is my ether mine for um, E settings for MB minor. So you can see I have the path. I just use the path because when you run as administrator, it won't know where the uh, NB minor executable is located. So I just give it the path and it finds it. The device info is an MB minor option. It'll tell you what it thinks the devices are. So in this case, when I run that, it thinks one, three, and four are 6600 XTs. So those are the devices I want. So remember, one, three, four. I then go over here. Here's my actual MB Miner settings. I'm mining algorithm ETHash. And there's my Stratum. There's my wallet if you want to send me some money or some Ethereum. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, what you do in the command line for MB Miner is you do the dash D right here. And you specify those device IDs, one, three, four. Again, one, three, four. This way you're telling MB Miner, I just want to run those devices and ignore, ignore the um, NVIDIA cards. Piece of cake, right? Piece of cake. Got it. Now let's go further. I could go and actually run ETH on 
one of the 6600 XTs by saying dash D dash one, boom, done. I could then make another script file, which we saw. Where did you go? Here it is. Yeah. So I can make a Ravencoin one and say on device three, 6600 XT, and I could do another ETC and then say, I want to run ETC on device four. So not only can you run different cards, AMD cards and NVIDIA cards of those like cards, you can run different coins. <clears throat> Makes sense. So there's lots of flexibility here. Of course, you need wallets for each one of those coins you're mining, which is fine. You should know that. But if you don't, set up a coin for ETC, Ravencoin, blah, 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 etc. Yeah, so you can really break this out as granular as you like and go from there. Uh, lots of flexibility. So there are no overclock settings, as I mentioned in here, because I use MSI Afterburner to overclock these uh, 6600 XT cards. So there you go. I kick this puppy off. I do a, uh, it's already running, but I do run as admin and I'm ready to rock and roll and it goes out and it just starts mining Ethereum on the Ethermine pool. And uh, there you go, not much more to it. So he's up and running, all great, all good. Let's go down to this guy, this is T-Rex Miner. So you got two cards, you're going, man, but you got two cards sitting there doing nothing. Well, come on, utilize them cards. All right, I will utilize them cards. So we got the uh, NVIDIA cards we got to handle. Let's go into, I have a shortcut to T-Rex. I like T-Rex Miner. So I am mining Ethermine, Ethereum on this guy with the Ethermine pull. Let's look at it. Blammo. So the thing with um, T-Rex, they have the same thing. Devices info, a little different, right? Device, so MB Miner was device info. T-Rex Miner was devices info. All right. Same thing, I put the full path because I run this as admin. Now, when you do devices info for T-Rex Miner, it's only gonna pick up the NVIDIA cards. Does that make sense? It is not gonna pick up the three AMD cards at all. It's not even gonna see them. Whereas MB Miner can mine and work with both type cards, NVIDIA and AMD. So you need to know that about the miner you pick. So just be aware that certain miners like T-Rex only recognize NVIDIA and AMD recognizes both. So there you go. All right, what next? So here we have devices info. And for this, you're gonna get, when that runs, it runs in internally as well. One and, oh, no, I did it wrong. Zero and one. Because it only sees those two cards. It doesn't see the other three at all. The A and D cards. So we have GPU zero and GPU one. So let's go over. How do we do this? Same thing. You set your pool. You set your algorithm, ETH hash. Same exact thing. Set your wallet. Set your worker. And... This is T-Rex Miner, and like I said, the beauty of T-Rex Miner is I can set the overclock settings in the command line right here. I like that a lot. It doesn't make me dependent upon MSI Afterburner, as you see here, for NB Miner. So, there you go. Uh, here are my settings. Here's the core stuff right here. D, 0, and 1. my fan, my memory clock, my absolute core clock. Now, having said that uh, T-Rex Miner only recognizes the NVIDIA cards, I really didn't need to put this here at all because it's only gonna see zero and one. It's not gonna see the other three AMD cards. I just put this here for clarity because as you go on, you're gonna forget all this stuff you've done. You'll forget it. That's why you gotta video it and write it down, make a log, and that's why I make these videos so I have it logged so I can always go back and say, what did I do? But I put it here for clarity, but I can also do the same thing I mentioned with MB Miner. 
I could say, well, T-Rex, T-Rex, my brud, my brud, my brud, uh, T-Rex, my friend. On device zero, NVIDIA device zero, 36 Ti, I want you to run ETH. And then I have my ETH script run for T-Rex minor. Then I can make another script in T-Rex. And I can do, I can pick another pool and uh, pick another coin. You know what I mean? Mine to another pool using another algorithm and say use device one. So here you can actually mine as many GPUs as you have, you can mine that many different coins and pulls if you want to really break it out like that. But I don't know, why would you? I don't know. Maybe you want to do a trial and say, let me run on some ETH on this guy, but I also want to use my uh, other 3060 Ti to do some Raven coin on two miners. So you can have one running ETH on ether mine, one running uh, Raven coin or Raptor, I don't know, not Raptorium, uh, uh, Raven coin on a uh, two miners or something like that. You get it? So you can really break this out. So MB miner, fan it out to multiple or just one. I just keep it simple like you see. I have all three cards right here going to ether mine, mining the ETH hash. And this guy over here, same difference. Uh, running T Rex Miner, going to ETH hash on Ether Mine. Now that's it. That's all you need to know. You're you're good to go. I just that's how I did it. That's how I got it working. The thing's rocks the uh, rock stable, man. It uh, it doesn't crash. It keeps running. I have no conflicts. It runs pretty good and pretty solid. So what else could you do to this guy? You can actually CPU mine. If you have a decent CPU, like a Ryzen 3 or up, you could actually run. I don't even know if I have one installed. We are going to find out. We're going to find out. Hold on. We're doing this. We're going off script. Miners. I always put my stuff into miners. Oh, we got some CPU stuff. Raptorium. Ooh. All right. So you can actually have a XM rig or CPU miner GR. I prefer XM rig and the newer, newer one is 6.16.2. You can run a CPU miner as well on this rig as well. I mean, you could do multiple different GPUs and CPU mining all in one rig. You know, just gotta watch your energy consumption and your heat and stuff like that. But if you're managing that okay, you're good to go. So you can really max out your hardware because right now, this CPU on this guy, I don't know what it is. It might be a Ryzen or Intel or a Ryzen. I don't know what I got on this thing. Hold on, let's check. Uh, this is hardware info. This is your friend. You should have this in your tool box as one of your favorite tools to go to because it shows you everything about your system. Here's my Asus motherboard. I have an Intel core on this guy. So he doesn't do well on Raptorium, so I won't use him. Just why waste, why waste the... See, why waste the power and the uh, added, added extra heat for mining with this card? So he's already at 63 degrees Celsius, 62. But if I had an AMD 5 in here, I would probably consider mining Raptorium. So you could really max out your rigs, folks, and get the, get the most out of it. But again, you got to know energy management and make sure you have power and watch your temperatures as well. All right, guys, there you go. I mean, 20 minutes and you know how to do it. You probably already know how to do it. But anyway, long-winded answer. Yes, you can mine multiple different cards, multiple different coins, uh, type cards, etc. on one rig. And I've had no issue with drivers. And if anything, things, things are working pretty stable. And uh, it makes it nice. The flexibility is great. All right. That's all I can think of because I guess the reason I do this is because not – you can't always seem to get six of one card. It's unless you're doing a retail bot or something like that, or you work in a um, electronics store where you're getting the stuff directly from the manufacturer, you're not going to be able to get six of 6600 XTs. I don't know. They limit you online to two or something like that. And the retail bots, you can probably score maybe six if you set it up right and get them an MSRP or lower. Uh, that's the only way I see these guys getting the cards. I don't know how these guys are getting truckloads and truckloads of <laughs> GPUs and of like cards. I'm like, how do you do it? Unless they're right next to a great store. I have no idea. 
But anyway, so you may find you're going to have rigs, rigs with multiple different cards in it. So this will, this will explain, this will show you how you can run those cards together on one rig, mining different coins, the same coin. All right. Hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's a better way to do it. Again, I only know what I know. There's probably a lot out there I don't know, which I'm still trying to figure out. And when I do learn something new, I go try it and make sure it does work for me. And if it does, I'll incorporate it into the rig. Uh, I don't have a little test rig to play with, so I use one of my working rigs. And it's hard to take those down to play because, you know, it's not making any money for me when it's down. All right, guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And I will talk to you later. I am out of here. All right, take care. Blammo, out.